All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Maine the Outspoken. Great to have you here once again. We're going to play some Atlas again today. And I'm trying out a new server today, actually. This is Radioactive Atlas. Name of this server. So we're going to try this out and see how it is. And we can talk about the upcoming wipe that's happening as well. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Great to have you here. Alright, what's up everybody? Hope you can hear me okay. Welcome to the channel. I'm playing some Atlas again today. We're going to be playing on the Radioactive server this time. This is a PC only server. Got a bunch of mods and new additions to it. Pretty cool, so we'll check that out. To turn off the chat box because it uh, typically is in another language, it looks like a lot. Alright, hopefully everything's working okay here on the stream. Let me know in the chat. You should be able to hear my voice, the game, and some music playing in the background. So I'm kind of testing out some settings here. Still can't make tools yet. Need to get leveled up. See what I need to make a sloop. More hide and more wood. Make a campfire here. Cook some food.
All right. I have to fight something to get some hide. I still don't have enough points. Flint, make more spears. So, yeah, I'm trying out a different server this time around. This is Radioactive Gaming. It's got a mix of, I guess, PvP and PvE servers. And they've added a bunch of different stuff, like different animals, and... Yeah, Striker, what's up, Striker? Yeah, I'm just bouncing around. I'm just trying different stuff today. This one's Radioactive Gaming. I don't know if you've ever played on this one. This one supposedly has the NPC pirate ships and the NPC navy ships that sail around and then fight each other. So I kind of want to see that. See how that looks. That's something I wish they would add on the official servers. See, this server has these things too. They're like chests. And when you try to open them, a bunch of skeletons will come out of the ground. So that's kind of neat. I'm basically just checking out these servers that have, you know, mods and stuff. To see what those are all about. They're pretty interesting so far. Yeah, just hanging out, checking out some new servers. Need to learn how to make tools. This crude tool just isn't cutting it. Yeah, I I don't plan on playing here very long. I just wanted to check it out. Still waiting for official. I don't know what that symbol is supposed to mean. If it means they're like overweight. So that's a raft. I'm not sure. There's a pig over here that has the same thing. So it must mean that it's overweight. All right. Once I get a high enough level, I'm going to try to make a sloop and get out of here. This was my fire. Yep, so definitely primitive today. I have no skills. <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a few things on these uh, unofficial servers that have the mods that I wish official would implement. 
Some of this kind of stuff, like this PvE stuff, is pretty cool. I wish they'd add more stuff like that, too. The salt. Can't even harvest it. Alright, I guess I went to fight more parrots. Like the only animals around. Take that, parrot! Yeah, that one's a 29. There, I can at least make tools now. Yes, Striker. Yes, it was us. It was my girlfriend Alyssa and I, actually. She tamed that crab that you used to jump from one ship to another. Remember when you did that? <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was us. Yeah, that'll be my plan. Try to do the same thing. Try to get some crabs. Yep, Infamous. Yep, that's because her character name is Infamous Liss. Yep. That was us. Yep, that was her crab that she tamed. Yeah, it's really not that difficult. It's just a matter of getting those spear guns and going down and, you know, hunting the, the squids, but you got to do it with diving attachments. So it's not easy, but it's definitely doable. Alright, let's see what I need now to get a sloop. Stuck. I need some more hide and some more wood. I'm always starving. Yeah, it's it's obviously a lot easier to tame the crabs with a submarine. But it it is doable right at the beginning. You just have to have somebody spec into the spear guns and then somebody spec into, you know, level 3 taming obviously. Where you got to have two people to I've tried to do it solo before and I mean, it's do you can do it, but it's not easy. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I need more hide. Find something to fight. Gotta be a creature around here somewhere. Oh, what's this? A chicken. Chicken dinner tonight. All right. I'm gonna chop a tree, and then I think we should have enough stuff.
Gotta fight a pig too, why not? Alright, I'm level 6. <laughs> Somebody put a bed in Freeport. Okay, apparently you can do something with whatever these are. They're like a, a tame storage building or something. Interesting. Alright, let's see if I get this sloop here. I still can't. Oh, I still need more wood. 25 more wood. They have rare animals on this server, like they have a moose, and they have eagles, and foxes, I guess. A bunch of different stuff, which is kind of cool. I'm going to need to craft a bed too, aren't I? Might as well just do that first, I guess. A what? I can only make a sleeping bag? How do I make a real bed? This I should be able to make a bed. Simple bed. That's weird. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's in a slightly different place. A little different on this server, I guess. All right. All right, we've got a sloop. I don't even know where I am. Okay. I'm in C1. I've heard most regions are PvE around here, so... I'm going to head to C1. That's supposedly where the PvP server is. We're going to head there. See if I can make it. Got no sail crew. Alright, we just gotta sail north. Hopefully nobody sinks us. Of course, as soon as I set sail, we get cyclones. <laughs>
figures. Some kind of a ship. Uh oh. I don't know if it's friendly or not. <laughs> Probably not. There's a ship too. Alright, I don't know what that is. It's like a big treasure chest out in the water. Uh-oh. This guy looks like he's coming after me. I think I'm still in the PvE area, though. he turned around. Good old ramshackle sloop days. I don't miss it. Those of you just joining us, welcome to the channel. Appreciate you stopping by. Trying out a, a new server tonight. Well, new to me anyway. Radioactive Gaming. And what intrigued me about this one was the NPC pirate ships. I want to see the NPC pirate ships in action. Alright, it looks like I'm losing the wind here. Of course, we are on the countdown to the wipe, less than a week away. Let me know if you're excited about that. I don't know if my little sloop can handle all these big waves. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's right, I forgot. So this server actually has a reputation system as well, which is kind of interesting. The sunken treasure, but I probably don't have enough breath to make it all the way down to the bottom. I don't have a diving attachment. I'll wait on that. I'm just trying to make it to the PvP area of this uh, server. C6, that's where I should be trying to go. Where am I? I'm in C1 right now. I'm trying to get down here. And it looks like these are owned islands, so... We'll see if they're all claimed or not. Who knows, I may not even make it there. Bunch of ships out here, so... Might get run over. <laughs> the big galleon over there. Maybe they won't notice me. I can just kind of sneak through. All right, let's step away for just one minute here. Living that sloop life. <laughs> Big galleon over there. Trying to stay away from him. Yeah, there's a bunch of ships out here. Are they fighting? Am I in the, about to sail into the middle of a giant ship fight? <laughs> this doesn't look good. I have a feeling I'm going to get sunk. Maybe these are the MPC pirates. It is. Radioactive pirates. Are they going to chase me? Oh no. <laughs> Doesn't look good. Maybe they'll leave me alone. Hey, what's up, Sharky? My chat here. Welcome back to the channel. That's cool. We're going to be maybe be allied next season. Yeah. That's cool. I have no idea about any of that stuff yet. I don't know who's allying who. Well, 
Well, that's pretty cool. If those are the uh, pirates. I wonder if this is the navy, these uh, red sails right here. Are they going to fight each other? Look at this. This is crazy. Must be the navy, all the red sails. This is crazy. <laughs> Look at all the ships. Alright, so those are obviously the pirates back there, and this is obviously the navy. Pretty cool. Yep, the buccaneers. Or maybe these are the pirates? I don't know who the good guys are. I would assume the black sails are probably the bad guys. The red sails are... Probably the ray, the navy people. But could be the other way around. I don't know. Still pretty cool. All those ships. Yeah, this is really cool for NPC ships. Like, this is what drew me in. I wanted to see this in action. I'm already impressed. Like, this is really cool. They should add these into the main game. That would make it so much cooler if you could actually fight real ships while you're sailing around like this. That would be really awesome. Oh, look, they're fighting. Let's go watch this. <laughs> I'll try to sail a little closer. Oh, I guess he ran. All their ships are really fast, though. They're going to get him. <laughs> Yeah, that's really cool. And supposedly they that's like going on in every region. That battle between those two factions. Yeah, very cool. Alright, let's see if I can get back on course here. Yeah, Sharky, so I'm, I'm not an Xbox X-Bob anymore. I've, I've graduated to a PC. Still have my Xbox, of course, but I'm playing Atlas on PC now. How do I like it? Much better. I mean... I'm having a hard time still adjusting to the keyboard and mouse. Um, you know, that part is still really tricky for me. And there's some keys and some things I may end up changing from the default. But, I mean, I like being able to just swing the camera around like this. and You know, stuff like that is definitely a lot easier. Some aspects of... Sailing and combat are easier with the keyboard and mouse, and then sometimes I find myself struggling with certain things. Yeah, I can live on main islands now, yes. Yep. I mean, I was able to go to our main grid most of the time, it's just I would always crash when I first fast traveled there, right? And then, if I got into some really, really heavy built stuff I would still crash once in a while but I could still function I could at least do stuff but it wasn't easy all right so it says new daily tasks are awaiting me whatever that means
Alright, so we're in a PvP region now, I think. Doesn't look like anybody owns any of these islands, so... Maybe I'll just go for this small one first. If I can even just... I'm the only player in the region, too. That's good. But yeah, Sharky, definitely enjoying the switch over to PC. And, you know, a big part of it was playing on servers like this. I wanted to be able to at least experience this and see what it was like playing on some of these modded servers. So far, it's pretty cool. I definitely want to see what it's like to get into a ship battle, you know, with some of those NPC pirates and stuff. I bet it's difficult. They're probably really strong. Now, I haven't seen any floatsome boxes. Could just be a coincidence, I guess. Maybe they don't have floatsums? I don't know. I know they have a lot of those treasure boxes on land that you activate. Alright, so like I said, I think, I'm pretty sure that this is a PvP region. So this is where I want to be. Definitely more of a PvP kind of player. Nothing wrong with PvE though. Uh oh, I see a ship over there. I just want to make it to land. Those of you who are here, appreciate you tuning in. Um, I am testing things out here kind of for the first time with this setup. Um, I was on earlier today and I noticed when I checked the recording afterwards I couldn't hear any of the game audio and stuff. Um, so let me know how everything sounds if you don't mind in the chat. You you should be able to hear my voice, the game, um, and then I do have like some light background music playing. You should be able to hear as well. So let me know if you can hear all of those things in the chat if you don't mind. That would be super helpful. I think I need to hook up a second monitor here for streaming, and that way I can have my streaming software on one screen and then the game on the other, because right now it's doing like a full screen and it's a little tricky to navigate back and forth. But we'll get the hang of it. Definitely like the graphics on this PC a lot better. Everything's a lot more detailed. Alright, so I'm approaching this island. I'm going to try to set up shop here, get a little base going. Begin my PvP adventure here on Radioactive Atlas. Ok, 
kind of weird fog right here. What's that all about? I don't know what that is. All right, this is my new home for today. Not very big, but it'll do. See how far I can sail up in here. Oh, there's a big old crocodile. scary. What's he doing? Like swimming backwards towards me. Oh, he's fighting three turtles. <laughs> Get him, turtles. Get him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Turtles are no joke. Who will win? Oh. <laughs> this crocodile has no idea what to do about these turtles. Oh. One turtle down. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to work. <laughs> Ow. Oh no! Another one. <laughs> uh, I didn't see the last one. That's a bummer too, because I lost my XP buff. Yeah, I definitely need to level up a couple more times.
There, I leveled up again. Alright, I can at least get a smithy and some basic tools now. What do I need? I need some more hide and some metal. another spear or two. I need now. Oh, some more metal. Rocks give metal. Got an achievement, it says. <laughs> I guess I can only make thatch buildings stuff right now. Let's place my little thatch thing I'm making on this rock. <laughs> Now I can make stuff. Some metal tools. Oh, I didn't even know I had this bow. That's cool. Some hide. Mist. happened to hand harvest all my resources. I haven't had to do that in a while. So I'm just trying to get myself metal tool. There we go.
gather stuff much faster now. Those of you just joining us, welcome. Appreciate you tuning in. Playing some Atlas tonight on the Radioactive Gaming server. Trying out a new server. So I've at least got myself started here on a lawless island here on Radioactive Gaming. What's going on, everybody? Appreciate you hanging out here. Are you guys excited about the wipe coming up on Wednesday? Kind of disappointing that they postponed it a week. That wasn't very fun. I'm just glad that hopefully maybe they caught a few problems, maybe, and maybe when they release it on Wednesday, it will actually be decent. Now, it seems like most of the servers are going to have to wipe along with um, official. So it seems like, you know, even the unofficial servers, and these privately owned ones, they're going to have to potentially wipe as well, or at least do some kind of a partial wipe or change something. I don't know. I was playing on the Dark Side RP, and I think they were saying that they're probably going to have to do a structure wipe. So that may not be the case for every server, and I could be wrong on that as well. Always check with them, but... It seems like all the servers are potentially going to have to probably do some kind of a wipe. If you know of ones that are not doing a wipe, let me know in the chat, but um, it seems like most of them are going to have to wipe. But that's good. I mean, fresh start is always fun in Atlas. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely enjoy beginning, you know, first couple of weeks of a new server after a wipe. That's always the most fun. So, yeah, I appreciate you all taking the time to hang out here. I've uh, started this new character on Radioactive Atlas. So far, so good. I've made it to a lawless... I guess it's not lawless. A PvP server here. But it's an unowned island. Alright, I leveled up again, that's cool. I want to be able to make wood structures, but I'm not quite there yet. So I gotta level up again. My dead body. metal what I'll need the most of
Right now, I'm the only player here, but there was a couple of other people here a minute ago. I was bummed that I lost my XP buff right after I got the discovery here. <laughs> Probably would have got me a couple of extra levels. So yeah, just trying to level up, you know, get some skill points. At least be able to build and craft and all that kind of stuff. I mostly wanted to test out this server and just see what it was like and see what those NPC ships were all about. And so far, I'm, I'm impressed. They're pretty cool. There, we got plenty of meat cooking. <laughs> I don't really want to fight an elephant. Something else would be a little better to try to fight than a giant elephant. Oh, here's some ants. Here we go. Perfect. I don't think they give very much XP though. Monkey. It's only level 11, but. Yeah. High enough level to get me a level. <laughs> It's a map, I wonder if it's for this island. B5, nope. Yeah, I was worried that was gonna happen, I'm dehydrated. I don't think there's any water on this island. See if I can dig, but oh, I can. Okay. Well, at least I have water. So we'll just gather a little bit more resources, try to level up. Oh, I did level up, didn't I? Here we go. Can I do the wood structures yet? 
Yes, I can. All right. Let's build a house. Sorry, this part isn't exactly exciting, but I am in a PvP area, so you never know. Someone could roll up on me. I have a feeling that Crocodile and I are going to have to have a battle. I guess he must have defeated the Turtles. All right, um, well, let me replace these ones. Won't, will it? Okay. Well, we'll just go like this. Like super over encumbered now. Alright, that crocodile's getting awfully close, isn't he? have one spear left. Alright, I'm going to go in with three spears. Got it. Prime meat. All right. Yeah, I want that one. More harvesting. It gives you 20% more harvesting.
All right. Well, hope everybody's doing well out there that's watching. Hope you're all having a good weekend. Appreciate you hanging out here with me. All right. Let's see. What can we do next? Still need to learn how to make weapons. And learn how to tame stuff. I haven't done that yet. All right. Let's take a one minute break here. Okay. Hopefully everybody can still hear me okay. Said I'm kind of still messing with my settings and all of that good stuff. Need more water. Die, parrot. Oh, there's two of them now. Gotta find some water. Okay. A lot of fiber right here. Finish building my house so at least I have a roof over my head. Character is warm. Right, I can just make all these pieces right here in my inventory, can I? This craft of a wood variation corner stairs. Interesting. Oh, I don't need more floors. That's fake. Walls I need. See where we're at so far. Whoops, I didn't want the half doorway. Regular door. Right there.
Alright, got the house built here. Nothing fancy. Uh. One more. Thatch. Right. Roof on. There. Stairs. There. <laughs> At least I have a roof over my head. Alright. What's going on, everybody? Those of you just joining us, welcome. Appreciate you tuning in. As you can see, I'm just a brand new character. What am I now? Level 12. Sounds like there's another crocodile outside. Make a bed. Nope. One here. I'm gonna put one outside somewhere. That way if somebody breaks into my base later on, at least I'll have a bed somewhere. There. At least I have a bed in a couple of different places now. Uh oh. Ants. Alright, I've broken all my spears. I need to make some more. <laughs> What do you guys think I should learn next? Which, what skill should I try to go for? I can 
do wood structures. Let's see here. I've been trying to mix it up between like fortitude, stamina, health, stuff like that. I could work towards the taming tree, or I could start going into more of like the shipbuilding type stuff. I probably have to do some respecking. I'm guessing. Yeah, you can do that here. Okay. Again, I am playing on the radioactive atlas. In case you were wondering. Okay, so this server has some different things. So see this? This is advanced woodworks. With all these clipping structures. I don't know what that's all about. So this skill tree is a little different. Interesting. There's another crocodile right next to my base. All right, so I need to make some spears. We gotta fight another crocodile. All right, here we go. Well, that was easy. character was starving apparently all right so what can I unlock here I mean taming to me is pretty important I mean, it's all important, I guess, right? <laughs> guess I need all these basic building things, though, first, though, don't I? Okay, that's true. Because I wouldn't be able to make saddles or anything without the 
tannery and all this stuff, so. All right. Those of you just joining us, welcome. Appreciate you stopping in. We've got a new character going here, so I'm just trying to get leveled up. Even though there's probably going to be a wipe soon. Wanted to test out this server. And see how it runs. See how it is. They've got... NPC pirate ships and NPC navy ships that sail around. Different animals, different uh, changes to the skill tree and stuff like that. Some other interesting things. So, this is the Radioactive Atlas server. I've never played on it before today. Definitely interesting. I am playing in a PvP server as well, it's just I happen to be the only person here at the moment. Everybody's just waiting for the wipe now. Countdown to Wednesday. They don't delay it again, right? That was awful. <laughs> Just my opinion, but like two hours before the wipe or something like that, three hours before the wipe, they delayed it. And I apologize that this is you know a little slow, just farming resources, leveling up and stuff. You guys know how it is on the first day. I wanted to check this server out, see how it was. Alright, another level up. Okay, 
getting dark outside. Probably end up taming this elephant just because it keeps hanging out right here by my base. <laughs> high level actually. Almost learn taming. Another level or two. If I can learn how to at least tame some kind of a creature, horse or a bear or something, that would be decent. And if I get into some PvP, at least I have something to help defend me. I don't mind using bears, like, early on. I do prefer the horses, though. They seem to be a lot better. So far, I haven't seen any other player structures here anywhere. What is this? It's a baby bull! Why is it all alone? Look at it! <laughs> Just a baby! <laughs> That's funny. Those are weird looking rocks. I guess they're just regular rocks with shells in them. Found a chicken egg. Another one. 
There's the chicken. And grab this map down here. Kinda hope I can find a map for this island. Oh, B6. Boosted. Another map. C6 boosted. Where am I right now? I'm in C6. I don't think it's this island, though. No. Which one is it, though? I can't figure it out. Can you guys figure it out? Which island is it? Oh, is it the... It's that... Okay. It's that north... Northwest one. That's what it is. One that says Radioactive Atlas. It's that one. Okay. Kind of neat look, the map even looks more detailed and stuff. Like, look on the borders. I've never noticed that before, that's cool. Alright, well, that's within reach. We could maybe go do that map at some point. Just kind of exploring the island right now to see if anything else here. Anyone else here? That's kind of cool. These trees give sea grapes.
All right, I'm a little lost. Oh, I see. I'm on the other side of the island from where my ship is. Other side of the island. So coal nodes supposedly give you a lot of experience when you farm them. Where's an ant? Oh, hello, cow. got like two levels just from chopping those coal nodes so that does give you a lot of experience apparently going the right way hope so there's my house a mortar and pestle. Put all this sulfur in here so I can turn it into gunpowder later. I can start now. Happening, I'm out of water. Can I make a shovel? I can. Need to dig for some water. There we go. I won't be thirsty. <laughs> Start to grow a beard. There we go.
grab this treasure map over here, see what this one is. Another crocodile. C6 boosted again. That could be that left part of the island, right? Maybe not. Oh no, okay, it's that southeast island. The northern part of it. That's what it is. Okay. That's still cool though. I have a few maps that I can try to do at another time. Alright everybody, well I think I'm going to call it a night there, but I just wanted to test out this Radioactive Atlas server and see what it was all about. So far it seems pretty cool, so definitely we'll try it again another time. We're on the countdown to the wipe, like I said, so potentially, hopefully Wednesday night this week here, uh, Atlas official servers are going to do a, a major wipe and start a new season. So I'll definitely be doing some content for that, so... If you haven't done so, follow the channel, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.